<laughs> what were you doing before rapping? <laughs> man, I was in the streets, man, you know. Yeah. You was in the streets? <laughs> yeah, I was hustling, you know what I'm saying? Then I went to the penitentiary, and when I came home from the penitentiary, that's when I started pushing on them, you know, pushing them. I was doing music before before I went, but I wasn't, like, investing. The key thing with me, you know, uh, you have to invest your own money into your own self. So if you waiting on another nigga to put, uh, put some money behind you, you might well be the nigga hope, you know what I'm saying? Because nigga going to move the way he want to move. So yeah. by me... By me investing in my own money, I move the way I want to move. I drop when I want to drop a project, you know, and that's really what it is. And I've been living off this shit for man, like fucking forever. Like I can't remember the last time I had a job. Only when I only when I was on parole, I, I did go get a job back back in the day. But yeah. I was a young nigga. That was in my motherfucking nineteen or some shit like that. But you know, a nigga forty seven. I'm so real. I can take my age, nigga. I was, I've been yeah. at this shit, man, for a long time. Um, so I know that you was in a group with uh, Zero back when y'all was younger. Was that before the penitentiary or was that afterwards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You was kids. So it was called NPN, Nickel Play the Nuts, man. If y'all ever uh, pull up the Trapping with the Music uh, hosted by Zero, he tell the whole story, man. You know, I don't tell the story. He kept, he kept it trilling. You know, he man, I ain't going to lie, he told the truth from the beginning to the end. And it's like, that album, that's one album that nobody never heard, you know what I mean? We never even, we heard about we was doing the project. We never got a chance to hear it, the finish, yeah. ready to hit the street. So, you know, and I, I jam roll, I ain't going to lie, I damn I listen to road music every day, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, and I, I listen to really everybody, but I jam roll all the time. And just hearing, hearing his growth, it's real, you know what I'm saying? But what he, what I hear now, I've been heard way back then. And I'm not talking about the actual music, but I knew who he was before he made it. He was a superstar, like, day one. Like, I mean, that was live. Like, I was surprised he never put out a reggae album because I know back then he was working on a reggae album at fucking 16 years old. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how far they got with that one. But, you know what I'm saying, we did actually do a full project called NPN, Nickel Play the Nuts, and, man, we were, like, fucking 15, 16 years old. I'm 47 right now, so you just calculate that fucking time. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's a long grind, nigga. I've been at this shit for a long mm -hmm. time, man. My, I got grown kids, and that was before I had kids. Yeah. Yeah, I just felt like it was, you know, only right to bring you on. Plus, you my OG, so I got to you know, bring you on and shit. You don't want to really uh got me going and, and, and really opened up my mind to thinking of, of what I can do out there. You know what I'm saying? The branding, yeah, yeah. the merchandise, all that kind of shit. And so uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I put a, it's a lot of it's a lot of cats, man, that's doing what they doing. They came up under me. A lot of people mm -hmm. couldn't go to Boss Hog and screwed up clicking and, and switch the house and get no game because everybody not knocking that, but. Boss Hall was rocking with Boss Hall. SUC was rocking with SUC. Swisher House was Swisher House. And when you yeah. came to fuck with Agony Life, I'm Slab Soldier, uh, Block Click, I allow anybody to come in and, and even just sit down and talk to me and just get some game, man. So a lot of people ended up on a bunch of projects that I put out, you know what I'm saying? Classic shit. So they say I'm a legend. I know I'm a vet. I'm an ace time vet, but. The streets say I'm a legend, and I accept that. You know what I'm saying? I've been putting it down, and I'm still putting it down. You know, you got you got to accept that though, because you know I, I say it like this, man. If you you help create some of the legends, I feel like you help create some of the legends. I mean, a lot of people call me a legend, so you know, if, yeah. you know, you you help me with the platform, and yeah, 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 yeah. I, when I when I met Mo Hustle, man. There you <laughs> go. Well, I ain't gonna tell you, but when I met Mo yeah. Hustle. He. He was not the hustler. I, I honestly, the hustle he got. That's that's the that's a, a map. That's a blueprint of agony life. But of course, he went on this journey to do a lot of you know a lot of things. He got you know rocking with dope house and stuff like yeah. that. But he was. I mean, I'm I'm not capping, but Mo Hustle is one of my slab sons, and it's not no disrespect. It's because I took him on the road. 
and I yeah. hit him up under my wing, and I gave him a bunch of game and told him the do's and the don'ts. We got money. We had fun. I had the hoes fucking with him and everything. I had hoes braiding his hair out of town. I, I ain't going to lie. I told him how to dress. But you got to get up out this shit. You got to wear this shit. Took him to the, I physically took Mo Hustle to the bar <laughs> and say, Nick, this is what you got to wear. You got to get yeah, up yeah. out this shit. And, you know, just, you know, and I don't know, Cap, just real life. We came and we made yeah. a bunch of money. And we just had, we had fun. We was having fun. So it wasn't no <laughs> mean mugging and tripping. We was on the phone, on the road, just having fun, getting money. And we traveled yeah. all through the United yeah. States. I Hey, I got to tell this story, too. Yeah. And, Mo Hustle came to me one time was like, hey, man, I got a check in Denver. I need to go get my check, man. So I told him I'm going to design a trip to go to Denver for you to get your check from these yeah. people. Can't tell the other crew members that I'm that I'm doing this for you, but we're going to yeah. go down there and I'm going to help you. I'm going to take you there to get your check. So I ain't no shit about Denver. I just went because mm -hmm. Mo Hustle was trying to go get a check he had been waiting on for how long? Yeah, for a minute for a minute, so I took him down there and my people didn't know that I was doing him a favor, so we got yeah. down there, he got his check, we got some money, we made some connects and made some money out there too, Denver was live. Mm -hmm. I, it was crazy looking at Denver from the mm -hmm. aspect of seeing all that orange and blue jackets and shit, and I was yeah. like, damn, this shit like, some, this shit look crazy, but then coming back to Ace Town, we rocked the Astros, the Rockets, you know, the yeah. Oilers, and, and we rocked, you know, the Texans, even though, you know, it is what it is. But it was crazy <laughs> just seeing a lot of that Denver stuff. And it was just let me know how, you know, shit, how we represent down here in H-Town. Right, right. Uh, You know, I try to tell people, you know, like, really, I've been rolling with black folks for a long time because they always see me like, oh, he's the Mexican, whatever. But I'm like, man, my black family is bigger than my Mexican family. Really, it's crazy, you know. But, uh, you know, what I try to tell them is, a lot of people stick to their own markets and like you, yeah. you stayed in the South and shit. You you stayed like, you know, Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, sometimes Nebraska, shit like this. But like yeah, 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 we was like everywhere. That. I'm trying to take this. Yeah, we was everywhere, man. I mean shit. We was everywhere getting money. And then, you know, we had to pass everywhere we went. Everybody loved us, everybody saluted us. I mean, yeah. man, I remember you remember when, the, when we went to Nebraska shit, I had one of my people shit, she Open up her house, nigga. We had the whole mm. house to ourselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of trips. We had, even when we was out there in uh, West Texas, I had one of my homegirls. She gave us. I had the key to that bitch. She wasn't even there. We yeah. were living up in that hole. We were living the life, man. I mean, on the on the independent side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. yeah no, we I a lot of people like, man, agony life. See, a lot of people are like, who's that? But I'm like, nah, man, you just don't know the history. Like, you know. Yeah. He was one of the main motherfuckers from H Town that was on the road, real, real tough. And uh, you know, I, I try to tell him like we would see people on the road, like uh, uh, um, what was his name from Purple Stuff? Was his name Showtime? Showtime, yeah, yeah Showtime, Showtime, was Showtime, live, yeah. Showtime uh, Damn Spray, all them guys that was out there on the road. Yeah, I mean, we see everybody. I mean, Slim used to be on the road. Uh, yeah. Dougie D, Big Pup. See, Lil B from Slab used to be on the road. Yeah. Man, you name it, man. Uh, There's a lot of people that was on that road, man, getting that money, man. Oh, A3 them, T. Lee, Craig G. Yeah. Man, everybody, man. Everybody was on the road getting that money. We always getting it. Yeah, man. We fucking, we, we did some shit, man. I remember a lot of that stuff, man. Uh, I, read, you see my, you see, hey, I don't know if you can see, see the comments, but my... <laughs> Well, what do you say? Slab son, he, that who trying to be funny. Justin Prater, that's that's my slab son, Black. Uh, you know that Black no way. <laughs> you know, that, you know that, trying to be funny and shit. You know he, hey, look, man. Well, well I'll tell you about that shit later, Mo Hus. I got an idea. Hopefully, you we can make it happen. But go ahead and say what you're saying, my bad. Yeah, so that's that's okay. That's Black, Black. Yeah, yeah, nigga, your, your brother, nigga, your slab brother. Man, there you yeah. go. With that, I seen him in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah, out, that, that whole comedian. <laughs> hey man, one 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 thing I remember about him, man, is uh, we were all on that road trip, and he's like, uh, "Where do you see yourself in ten years or whatever?" And he but but he was trying to cap on me, like, yeah. where, where, where do you see yourself later?" Oh, you know, y'all finna y'all finna go at it now again. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But uh, you know, he's telling me, and I said, "Man, I'm I'm gonna be up the ladder." I told him, 
So here we are, you know, more than 10 years now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, I think that nigga garbage man right now, not knocking the garbage man. Black, um, you. <laughs> now I'm fucking with you. Now he, uh, I think got a J. Black he, he, actually, he actually be doing some work for me. He be bullshitting, yeah. but he, he do a yeah. little work for me, but not, not for, not like as for my brand, but for his own thing. So I shoot him some work to do some stuff for me. You know, they have a lot. You know, I, I, I have that nigga too. I had brought up um, the uh, freestyles that you did on, on the DVD that was talked about everywhere with our Kiati and our Mad Dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He, he salute every time, you know, we, when we top it up, when I see Kiati, he, he always salute me and be like, man, I was, I was one of the reasons a lot of people knew who he was outside of Houston. Yeah, you know actually, I would say, I, yeah, I would get, I, I take that credit because you know, people didn't know him outside of Houston, but of course, in Houston, he was, you know, he a vet, you know what I'm saying? But be us pushing them DVDs everywhere, and really, those DVDs was like shit out of the country. People used to call me out of the country to this day, people still hit me, and uh, yeah. they'd be like, hey, I'll vote for such and such, and I'm like, huh? All the while, they talking about some shit a nigga did 20 years ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's real shit. They steady cause I still got the same number from shit over about twenty five years I've been having the same number. Man, I, I remember uh going on the road with you and you would pull up at the gas station and, and we, we would jump out with the CDs and uh motherfuckers would uh you know, if I if I put the CD up in the air, they already knew it was Agony Life. Like, no, no matter if I was far away from them motherfuckers, they'd be like, "Is that that new Agony?" Oh, yeah, they yeah. already knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, nigga. yeah, yeah. Um, they certified in the streets, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. what do you think? Uh, share one of the best stories that you had on the road from hospitality from the south. Like, what what what, what was the best one that that you actually felt? Like you was like, damn, it showed mad love. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real, man. Everywhere I went, man, they showed me love, man. Yeah. So I would say every trip was 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 a was a blessing. Every trip, nigga, ate good, you know, made good money. We always came back wrong, no, came home with a bankroll. Uh, damn, I can't. It's a lot of them, man. We was on the road for like over sixteen years, so maybe like shit, I couldn't even just tell you, man. Uh. I damn not want to say the one when all the girls is on the nigga. I, well, I know we went to Florida. Pensacola, mm -hmm. Florida is one of my number one spots I know. Of course, Louisiana, Arkansas, all through Texas. But I'm going to say Pensacola, Florida, they were like, man, the whole city was like, nigga was on the nigga. Like, we was, they was, they was live for us, man. Like, damn, it was crazy. Like, nigga, you couldn't go nowhere without, you know, a nigga jamming. You know, the agony of life mixtapes, man. So I say Pensacola. I mean, Alexandra, Louisiana. Uh, man, Alexandra, that's one of the number one spots. Little Rock, Arkansas, one of the number one spots. And that's one of my boy Smackwater. Uh, he got, you know, he was doing his thing online and he was telling the story about that. Uh, Man, they rock with a nigga, man. You really caught me at a at a at a crazy time to ask me this shit. But yeah, I'ma say, damn. All over, man. They fuck with us, man, to the to mm -hmm. the fullest. Even with you, nigga, you were doing artwork on the road, nigga. Oh, I was yeah. managing that yeah. shit. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga was making money out for artwork, man. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we was out there selling nigga, we was selling nigga a poster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All type of shit, nigga. Buy a hat off your head, man. I tell you, just to just to say they part of their history, man. Um, what was your first album that you dropped? Oh, uh, the first mixtape. It wasn't mix an album. It was a mixtape. It was called yeah. Outside Gorillas. Okay. I think it's on. The, matter of fact, that's it right there. That, okay. That, in that uh, in that what's the name right there in that uh frame. Yeah, and that's the, you know that's the movie boss boss. Oh, the boss, boss. Of all boss yeah. yeah, you slap soldier headquarters right now, man. This this yeah. what you niggas really don't get to see behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, Northside yeah. Gorillas uh was the first mixtape I put out. You know, and man, 
everybody was like buying that shit. Like this was during the boss house, Swisher house, uh, mixtape days. You know what I'm saying? I came through, come home, and I just started doing my thing, man. And uh, it was on Slim Thug got on a bunch of music, J Dog, Fifty Fifty, uh, Big Hawk from the Screwed Up Click, uh, Will Lane from the Botany Boys, Class One. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a3, them from Red Shot Records, Craig G, T. Lee, man, you name it. Charlie Boy, got a bunch of music with Charlie Boy. Uh, man, it's the list goes on and on. I'm trying not to miss any names, man. Right, man, right. Slab Soldier, you know, Boss Click, everybody. You know, everybody, you know, coming through. Uh, PJ, the rap hustler. Oh, the homie E Rock, got to salute the OG E Rock, man. He came. Mm -hmm. Man, he even, he even let a nigga come through downtown, record a good two or three mixtapes just on the G, talking about he don't even want my money. Just come through mm -hmm. and do the thing, man. I salute that. Oh, yeah, KB Street Military. Man, the list goes on and on. I'm trying not to leave nobody out, but y'all know what it is, man. It's, it's a, Oh, shout out to Show Dog, man, my partner. That's why I was recording that uh, a lot a lot of mixtapes. Uh, Exchange of Sounds at Gene Shop on Antoine. I think that was like one of the first when we first recorded uh the mix the first mixtape was at uh his spot. Corey Mo, man, recorded a bunch of music over there, shot videos over there. Man, man, the list goes on and on, man. I can't even explain this shit. I'm trying not to leave nobody out, but goddamn, y'all know it's over twenty years strong, man. We at it. We still in it. I'm still in it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? A lot of still at it. And I got the shop too. Slab Soldier OG Music Shop on the South Side. You know, the earth is my turf. You know what I'm talking about? And then everywhere I go, man, I put a flag in the ground for the H time. You know what I'm saying? And from the both side, too, you know. Yeah. But it's um, everywhere I go. I, you know, uh, around how many albums did you drop before you start doing the, the DVDs and documentaries and all that stuff? Uh, Maybe like, I don't know, before I dropped the documentary, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like four or five, something like that. I don't know the direct. Four or five mixtapes later, you drop a. Was it a documentary or was it the flick or what? Which one was it? No, the documentary came first. Uh, and then the flick came after that. Shot in Houston, and then I ended up going to California with Slim with Slim Thug. Uh, when he was working on the uh, already platinum album, I was just out there kicking it with him. Yeah. Just on some key shit. And uh we flew out there and he was working on this album with Pharrell and we went he had a photo shoot with a magazine called Fish and Grits. And uh yeah. they had like all type of celebrities on the cover and Slim was on one of the covers and uh and one of the dude one of the dudes girlfriend was like was asking me what I do for a living because we both looking like money, you know. And I yeah. told him I shoot a documentary with mixtapes and uh I do a dope move, and she said, "Won't you come out here and do one with my people?" And then that's when uh, I went back out there, met yeah. up with them again. We shot the uh, Dirty South Divas out there in California, X-rated move, and it just it did good, man. And like, to this day, people be buying it. Just yesterday, somebody bought that mug. That was back in the gap, so I even got some more to put out you. Who did you have? Who, who, well, are well, have, who are that you have starring on, on, on that Dirty South Divas? Uh, Julian St. Jock, uh, we, uh, uh, my boy, uh, uh, Wesley Pipes, that's one of my partners. You know what I'm saying? Cool dude. He'll call me out the blue. Everybody know Wesley Pipes too, man. Nigga might not act like they know that nigga at this moment, but yeah. that nigga, they a legend. He from the South, though. He from yeah. the South, and uh, yeah, he was cool. And then as far as the girls, shit, I can't remember all their names and shit. But yeah, it was yeah. cool, man. We went out there, man. You know, I think that's one of the trips I made like the most. One of the I made the most money going from Houston to Cali. Cali, we went to Vegas, then we shot from Vegas back to Houston. Man, I made some good money on that trip. I don't even want to say the number, man. It was so much just traveling yeah. though. Traveling to the, you know. Um, so, so I know that that was your second triple X film. Uh, what made you do the first one? Like, what, what, 
Uh, was, I, I was promoting, I was working on the documentary, and so happened I put, I was promoting triple edit X rated episodes. I was just promoting some shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, mm -hmm. first time at it, and people was like, man, you got an X rated movie coming out? And I'm like, huh? So people just kept asking me about it. And I was like, fuck it. I might as well do one. So one yeah. of my partners, Big O, out the hood, he had the strip, you know, the stripper house. And, uh, you know, niggas was like, yeah, man, we can do this. We can do that. Niggas bullshitting. Telling me I got this girl, that girl. Them niggas straight bullshit. So right. I ran into O one time. And he was like, man, just come on by the house, man. We sit down. We make it happen. So my partner, Big O, he put me down. Of course, I got to say, uh, uh. One of the OGs at Harlem Knights, uh, I forgot his name. He owned Harlem Knights back in the day. He let me come through there and interview a bunch of girls uh, yeah. to be in the uh, adult film. And I forgot home and now he cool in the fan too, man. I forgot his name. Uh, but yeah, he cool. But uh, I ended up running into uh, my partner Big O and Big O put it down and shit, we set it off, man. We set it off with that one. And that's what ended up making me do it because I was like, I'm only talking to uh, – Troy from uh from Boss Life with Slim Thug, he was I'm on a long time ago. He was like, man, you can ready to drop a flick, and I was like, man, I don't mm -hmm. know, man. You think I ought to put it? If I do it, you think I ought to put it together with the rap shit or separate it? He was like, nigga, separate that shit, nigga, get paid twice. So that's what I did, separated and got paid twice, and it's still selling to the day. You know what I'm saying? Everything got <laughs> everything got them dropped like it's selling. Like this movie behind me right here, Bosses Among Bosses. I just ordered yeah. a bunch of uh, CDs and DVDs for that, for the Boss Status movie. Uh, my boy Mo Bang, I mean, Mo, yo, Mo Bang got there in, uh, on the south side. I just picked up an order from him right now. Like, that's where I was coming from when you had called me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it ain't a lie, man. We lie. Man, I'm still acting, man. You know, I, this is what I do, man. You know, this is my dope right here. Um. I know you started putting your stuff in stores, stuff like that. And after that, uh, did somebody give you the game on the distribution back then, or you had to figure it all out by yourself? How did that work? Uh, I would say, uh, where stores was like distributors was looking for me. Yeah, and I'm gonna say that's how it really came about. Oh, uh, they was looking for me. Uh, and uh, Gonzalez Distribution. Uh, I had got a, a national distribution through Orphan Distribution. That was uh, Rayface gave me that plug from Boss Hog Outlaw Slim, brother. Yeah. And uh, I ain't supposed to went through somebody else, but they was on some old crime ass shit, you know, trying yeah. to win on a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But Ray, I chopped it up with Rayface, and now he was like, man, look, this is what I'm going to do. Gave me the info, hooked me up with the dude Bob and shit. I, I was nationwide with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I understand why I just appreciate yeah, I know you were in a, uh, but how long did it did it take for you to get into um, uh, Best Buy? Because I know that that was a big yeah, thing. That, yeah, that was through uh, that was through uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, what's the name? More uh, orphan distribution. Orphan that distribution. was actually through uh, orphan. Then I don't know. People thought I had a record deal because it was going through uh, one of those distributors. Also, uh, Koch. Everybody thought I had a deal with Koch, but no, nah, I was just independent on my own. And that yeah. deal, the, the, the Koch, did, it was just Koch distribution through orphan distribution. So people yeah. like, man, I heard you got a deal. I seen you got a deal. I'm like, nigga, nah, I'm, I'm the deal, nigga. Independent yeah. with this shit. Yeah, I mean, you had everything on point, though. You had the posters, CDs, DVDs. Oh, yeah. I'm scared of that. Let me the, the drinks, the drinks, man. Were, were you... uh? How did you get into the drinks, bro? Like, I don't know. You go back. Look at this shit here. This my, this one of my drinks right here called Pineapple yeah. Slayer. Man, yeah. You got to come to my shop and come fuck with this, man. Yeah. This shit is the truth. No, I taste so it. That that yeah, so what I was saying is, how long ago did you start your first soda? Uh, that was like, shit, fuck. That was like. Well, this year, that's probably about 15, almost, maybe about almost 20 years ago I did that. And that was, uh, 
I was getting some CDs from this lady. I was ordering from her. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in her office on the south side. And she was like, hey, uh, what do you think about uh, doing your own soda? And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. And instantly, I said, yeah, run it. Let's make it happen. So she hooked me up with these people. And uh, I did uh, the slab sodas. I think I did lemonade. Then I did the grape. And I got my own water. I still got them. But the wow. pineapple slab took, took, you know, took off so quick years later to where, you know, I got the soda still running them. But, you know, that pineapple slab, the truth. But, yeah, I did that. You know, I probably did, I mean, just out the trunk with, with just my own independent soda, probably like shit over, I know over 50,000 bottles, you know, and that's yeah. just out the trunk. No distribution on that one. Right. And then we were part Yeah. Um, what about the new sodas that, that you got? I know you got the red one and the blue one and all that stuff. Yeah, the candy red, uh, the candy red, the candy blue, uh, the candy orange. I mean, I still got those, but ain't nothing, uh, ain't now what I'm touching that pineapple slab, though, you know? I still got yeah, those. Yeah. I just did that for the culture. I actually turned that, the candy red, uh, into a paro. I just did that like last week. So you can come get the candy red apparel from my shop, Slab Life mm. Apparel. I got the candy red and I got the candy purple. But it's really, I'm going to be honest, the pineapple slab takes it, took over. And it's mm. like, man, they come by jugs and cups all day long, man. I'm talking about I run through jugs after jugs. And I was just having fun, man. The key to the being successful, independent, man, and just have you some fun, man. The money going to come. And that's yeah. all I've been doing is just having fun. All these years, I've just been having fun, riding drop top, buying brand new SUVs, you know, traveling, kicking it, you know, just having fun, man. That's it. You can't come in this, you can't come in this game with no attitude, and you can't never wear no panties, nigga. I always wear you some boxes. You know what I'm talking about? You can't let your bitch be in the background telling you you can't go on a trip and can't yeah. have your niggas hating on you because you ain't on TV. I put myself on TV, nigga. Press play on the DVD, nigga. That's me right there. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? And, you know, that's what it is, man. I salute any nigga that came before me and why I was doing it and behind me. But I'm still active. I'm still at it. And I ain't, you know, I'm still pushing. Um, I know that you had a whole street team because I was part of it. But uh, yeah. uh, uh, talk about the street team. Like, was it real difficult to work with certain people to get them to go or – what was the now, crazy? Everybody was blowing up my phone to go. I mean, yeah. to me, the, it, I'm going to be real. It's better to work with a hustler than a rapper. Yeah. I mean, a rapper, man, they come out there with panties on, man. Niggas want to be on, on top of the world and, like, and they ain't even on top of their own game. So yeah. I really started structuring the Slab Soldier Click is dealing with hustlers and not rappers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it's better to deal with hustlers because a rap nigga. He want to just shine. He don't want to do no work. He just want to shine. You know right. what I'm saying? I, if he ain't going to put in no work, you can't even be around me. You see me with a bunch of niggas, it's by business. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't hang with niggas and just be playing games. I'm going to be either be one deep or I'm going to be with me a chick. You know what I'm saying? My little chick or something. But if you see me with some niggas, uh, then we marvel. It's by business. You know what I'm talking about? What was, what was the craziest excuse? that you heard from one of your street team members why they couldn't come on the road. <laughs> man, uh, man, all y'all had excuses, shit. Sometime at one point, uh, man, I can't really just call it. I mean, probably Black. Black probably had the most bullshit excuses. Yeah, he's, I'm pretty sure he's still on here watching. Uh, I don't know. I, I think Black came and said, man, I got to wash my clothes. Some shit like yeah. that. Some dumb shit. You know, everybody has some type of dumb ass excuse, but I didn't care who was going. I was going. You know, I yeah. came with the aim and I kept pushing it. I've been on every slab, so the trip it is. I can't say that for everybody else, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah you stay. You got to just stay active. But yeah, I would say there's so much shit happening on the road, man. We had so much fun. Man, it was like, man, it was live, man. It was like, man. There's so many great memories, man. It's crazy. 
You know, uh, some people don't acknowledge the people in the background, like the street teams, the promoters, the stuff, you know, like people like that. You know what I mean? Like those are the guys that are in the back street hustling, pushing all these albums. Like I remember us yeah, going yeah. on the road. I remember us going on the road, like saying, with your DVD saying, uh, we got Slim Thug, Chameleon there, Paul Wild, Mike Jones. We're the next to blow up out of Houston. You're going to hear us on the radio or, 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 or see us on BET. And uh, I just remember saying that over and over and over to people. And we just were believing that we was going to blow up one day. You know what I'm saying? And out of nowhere, uh, Paul Wall and, and, and Big Pokey come out with that single sitting sideways. And it just, it just blew up everywhere. Uh, how did you feel when that happened after pushing – that those brands for so long. I mean, I'm proud, man. I'm proud of everybody who. I mean, everybody who made it. I I seen it before it happened, yeah. man. Like I was in, you know, I was in the studio with a lot of different people, and yeah. seeing everybody act. The music jamming, man. The, the work ethic is there. So you going you know, and everybody having fun. Niggas ain't coming there tripping. They coming there with a with a sweet in their hand and some drink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, might just you know whatever, just chilling, having fun. You know what I'm saying? And really just enjoying life. Nigga might jump off a dice game. Nigga might, you know, nigga might be in there playing dominoes. You know, with me, yeah. I know I used to have everybody in there. We used to be like 20 or 30 deep in the lab. Everybody just in there having fun. I'm ordering food for everybody. We, you know, we play, might be playing dominoes or laughing and talking, coming up with concepts, talking about different projects, you know, really just having fun, man. That's that's what it's all about, man. The money comes with the fun. The funds come with the fun, man. You can't come in here and be tripping. But you got to put the work in, though. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to salute. You know, that's why I shout out a lot of people like Show Dog, who was behind the scenes, you know, rocking with me with Slab Soldiers. Uh, even the people who did the artwork, you know, even Mo Hustle. I remember Mo Hustle was like, man, I want to do a shirt for you. I say, my hustle, you got to come on with it, though. You can't just give me no anything. I say, I already dropped one shirt and it went hard, so I got to go harder with the next one. And he kept trying to give me this graffiti art. I say, man, my <laughs> people don't rock with that graffiti art. That ain't what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People what they want. So I walked Mo Hustle through what I needed. He pushed the buttons, so we created on it together. And then I had got the green light to use the phrase, uh, heart of a hustler. You know what I'm saying? So we put that on the shirt with the heart on it. I told him now he kept saying, you kept showing me, you want me to put a, like a, a heart, a, a heart from a, you know, from the, from Valentine. Yeah. Nah, nigga, I want a real fucking heart. So yeah. we found a heart and uh, shit. And then we put that bitch together, fade that hole this way, cut it this way, do this. Now, nah, then I say, now nah, put my logo in the heart. He was like, what? So he slapped the heart, the uh, logo on the heart. Nah, nigga, it got to be like coming through it, like you know what I'm saying, like it's like it, like it was born like that. And man, yeah. that was one of the hardest shirts right there. You know, yeah. so I just got that logo on the hat the other day. Yeah, yeah. that was like my beginning with the graphics too. That was, that yeah, was, it was my time. So I, I would say that mm -hmm. I mean graphics you did from other people, you know, but the one that I say though, after you did mine, you took off from there. I say that after that, you see, you ain't do no more other. It, Ever since then, your shit was live. Cause I I sat there and I coached you on what I needed you to do for me and to make this shit work. And you did it. And after that, man, your artwork just shot. Do you remember we shot the ball status uh uh artwork right in front of my house with the drop? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then remember I had to show you how to shoot. I said, man, you kept taking the picture wrong. I said, no, nah, man, sit in the drop. I'm finna take a picture of you and show you the picture that I want. You were like, oh, okay, that's what it is. So we got we had moments started raining and shit, like sprinkling, mm -hmm. but we still shot that bitch in there. That's like a, a classic cover for me too. With I'm sitting in the drop lighting up a cigar with the with the uh with the champagne and the swinger just poking out. You know, the GH yeah. and shit. Texas wild wheel swingers, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, we did many R word jobs. But yeah, man, uh Talk a little bit about working with Big Hawk. How did that happen? How, how did you get to meet him? And you know, tell us uh, a little I bit. I want to say I met I met Big Hawk through my partner Anchorman. Uh, Anchorman was doing. Of course, I was already familiar with him because he a legend. But Anchorman mm -hmm. was recording with him doing a song, 
and I got on the song with Anchorman and Hope when we was recording in South Park. And uh, we went from there, man. It was that was way back in the gap, and we just went from there. We linked up, and then man, I just started doing a bunch of uh, different songs together, you know. And anytime he would come to the north, he'll reach out to me, hey, mm -hmm. little bro, I'm headed to the north, man. Where you at? And I link yeah. up with him. We'll just mob through the north, you know. He had that uh, that uh, Cadillac, that uh, it was a uh, Tudo, that Tudo coupe Cadillac. He'll come through. We'll link up and just ride through the north, and I just take them to different spots to get them money, you know, record shops and stuff, you know, different studios, and just mob and kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, there's just so many uh, legends that you work with, man. It's kind of hard to go through each and every story, but, yeah, man, the most so J Dog, man, oh, Charlie Boy, man, me, the man. Swisher House. Yeah. The Swisher House OGs, man, I salute them brothers, man. Watch, yeah. got a salute. Watch, you know what I'm talking about. He did that, you know what I'm talking about. Got a salute, rap a lot too. Yeah. That's who kicked in the door for all of us, really. Right. And then she, she came through and then solidified it. Then Swisher House came through and and helped, the, you know, help lay it down for the same thing. And then shit, boss hog outlaws, shit, it was money to be made, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. So yeah, you got to salute Jay Prince, them man. They kicked in the door. For the whole side. Yeah, I try to tell people that because a lot of them don't know that part of my history. You know, that they, they just know uh, Dope House records, stuff like that. But I, you know, I was trying yeah, to tell Dope them. Dope House too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a good deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now a lot of people don't know, man. I mean, shit. I rather, I rather for him to tell the story. But I was mm -hmm. on the same label as SPM, South Park, Michigan. Me and Zero. But that was mm -hmm. before. He was calling himself SPM. I know we used to always call him SA in the studio. And he mm -hmm. would say, man, I'm not from South Vegas. I'm from South Park. And then we used to be like, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, from there, he took off. Like, a lot of people took off from that from that era right there. So, yeah, he yeah. was locked in with the same label. Now, I don't know if I was, like, signed anything, but we was all in the lab together. He used to come through and be freestyling. And this before his journey of being the the top Hispanic artist in the world, you know what I mean? I seen that from day one. I got a chance to see that, you know. And it was a long time ago. I was like I say, me and Ro was like, me and Zero was like teenagers, like 15, 16 years old. So I don't know how, how old Carlos was at that time, but she he was young too. You know what I'm saying? And that was a long time ago. This was before Dope House days. Uh, yeah. I was rocking with Zero. I did an album before the Screwed Up Click days. Now, that lets you know how far I go back with music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The long, so it was way, it was like 89, 1990. I'm going to say 90, 91. I'm going to say 90, 91, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine, you just if you just pay attention to the times when everybody started doing something or you heard of their movement, it wasn't before 1990, other than rap a lot and street military. You know what I'm saying? Swab House, Trinity yeah. Garden Cartier. After that, then came you know, Class One, Four Deep. You know they was in that. They was in power. But after that, you know, then came everybody else doing their thing, and it was a strong wave. And everybody still pushing, man. I salute Dope House, Rashi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody over there, man. They they real, man. I like them boys, man. Yeah, I know you got him. I know, I know you got him in one of your movies. What is the movie called? Uh, the movie called Bosses Among Bosses. Man, they bless bless my game. It came through. Rashi, uh, Low G, uh, man, uh, Lil Young from Swisher House, uh, a bunch of people. Man, screwed up click. Boss all got laws. My click, my hood. You know what I'm saying? West Green's Road. Green is the point, man. You know what I'm talking about? Green's yeah. point. Uh, everybody, man. It's either I called you or I just pulled up on your block and started filming, and niggas just was coming out, saluting, you know what I'm saying, showing love. Nobody tripped, nobody plex. They just say, oh, it's the home agony life, man. You know, we got to fuck with him. We got to support him. He with the home team, you know. It was just like a, a automatic pass through everybody hood, and niggas just show love, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, and I ain't never had to, you know, Hey man, well, you know, now they show love. They let me do my thing, man. I respect that and I love that, man. Um, 
Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? Man, hopefully a multi-millionaire, man, breaking bread, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, with the ones who are still on the same journey. So I, mm -hmm. I say that, you know, I got some I got some some things I want to do, like some independent stuff, like going to the trucking business, you know, not being a driver, but actually, you know, owning some trucks, you know, different stuff like that. Uh, definitely, uh, I got another movie that I want to do that's going to be coming out soon. And... Uh, I mean, just, I want to still rock with the music in the apparel, man. Yeah. You know, I'm 47. I've been at this, you know, since I was like, actually started writing rhymes at 14. So, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm 47 years old now, solid with it, man. So, yeah, I would say just, you know, making more investments. You know, I got some rental property. Probably, I'll probably get some more of that as well, but more on the trucking side, you know, something like that. But keeping the music coming, you know. I got a new project called, uh, Agony Life, Slab Soul Joe G. That, a matter of fact, Mo Hustle did the artwork for that. We sat down on that one, and we revamped some a classic club I did to bring it to life. What I'm doing, I'm bringing like all the Agony Life hits that I got with you know Slim Thug, the Hawks, the Tyler Boy, the Fifty Fifty Twin, J Dog, uh, A Three, you know Southside, and everybody, man. And uh, I got one with Rashid that uh, Mo Hustle came through for me. And uh, we're going to put on that. So it's the classic Agony Life and some new music that I've done that's going to be coming on that same project. So it's going to be the classic plus some new stuff. And I'm just, you know, I'm just branding, man. I stay branding, man. Y'all know I got the one of the number one Ace Town shops, man, right there on the south side, Griggs Road, man, in King's Best Mall. You know, the old fleet gone, King's fleet gone, but next door is King's Best Mall. I'm up in there, man with the Slab Soldier OG Music Apparel and Drink Shop. And uh, right there on there, I call that the Slab Life Boulevard. And I'm right there by King Johnny, man. I'm like right behind them and in front of them. So if you're rocking with King Johnny, you're swooping through, I'm right there, man. You can't miss me. And when I say the South Side rocking, rocking and rolling with me, they love me, man. I love them back. You know, of course, my North Side fam been rocking with me since day one. You know, West Greens Road, Goodson Road, and Pierre Valley, the whole West Greens Road, the whole Greens Road, all around Acres Home, Fifth Ward, Trinity Garden, you name it, man. Stewie Wood, everybody been rocking with me, man, since day one. Non-stop. Yeah. Ice uh, Wall Slow, the OG. What's up? Uh, real quick, um, I know the, the business is a little different these days than what it was back, back in the day. Um, do you think Agony Life will ever drop another Triple X movie? I mean, I actually got one I just ain't never put out, man. Goddamn, uh, 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 uh Smackwater, man. I got <laughs> Smackwater actually got one I did with him in it, and uh, I just I ain't yeah. found the footage yet. So he want that to come out bad. And I'm like, I might as well promote him. When I find them tapes, man, we're gonna make it happen. So I actually got one I just ain't never put out, you know, because. At the end of the day, how I operate, man, when I drop something and they keep going, and if I, I could just, I got stuff in the vault that just never came out. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and the music just been good and the movie. So I got stuff that just ain't dropped yet. And that's one of them that I need to find and put out there on the street, uh, Smack Water. Uh, I would call that the Lost Files X rated movie. A lot of people don't know about it, but. Yeah, he, he did one for me and shit. It was live. We just ain't put it out yet. But, yeah, I mean, of course, you know, maybe then on the cool, it may sound crazy, but bosses, some more bosses got X-rated footage in it. You know what I mean? If you look at it, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 real action in there. Not every not yeah. every clip, because I don't want to, like, it's a couple, it's like a, a female in there that people would say, oh, you was in there doing this and doing that, but she really wasn't. But it was other females as well, you know what I'm saying? So I got to salute her. You know, she wasn't doing, it was hers was like movie, movie movement. And then the other ones was like, it was real deal. Real deal, Holyfield, you know what I'm talking about? They, you know, it's just what it is, man. But yeah, I got another movie I'm going to be doing soon. And uh, I want to put one out with the Slam Soldier OG. But however it go, it go, man. It's just all about having fun, man, and stacking fun and enjoying life, man, you know. Hopefully my sons can come in and they help me put something together. 
You know what I mean? My, my, one of my sons, Trey Low, he be doing yeah. this thing, Trey Money. My other son, Tremonda Dunn, and my older son, you know, trying to get them get them to rock with something on the music and the other, really on the movie side, get some right. money, you know what I mean? Is your brother still rocking with you? Yeah, T, yeah, T-Bone, yeah, he's still rocking with me. Yeah, he's still That's doing his thing. T got his own thing going on, but, you know, anytime, you know, I say we finna get, we got this going on, he, he come jump down, you know, and yeah, make yeah. some happy. You know, big bro, I'm I'm big bro, so he gonna, he gonna follow through with me. And sometimes yeah. he might be like, I ain't, you know, nigga, what? I might be like, nigga, this is what we doing. He'll jump to it, come through like you like supposed to. Yeah. Um, well, that pretty much covers covers a lot. I know it's late at night, man, but uh, yeah, uh is there any shot? At first, I was, I was tired, but I say I just, Mo Hustle called me. I'm rolling, coming from the south side, grabbing this product from uh, Mo Bang, and he say, man, he, What's up with the interview? And I was like, man, I'll do it. Just let me get to the hive and uh, put this stuff up. So when I put the stuff up, I started she getting comfortable and shit. And then he was like, yeah. I'm thinking it's a verbal, uh, we just gonna be talking. He said, no, nah, man, you gotta get on camera. I'm like, God damn, man. You <laughs> get dressed for this shit, man. I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, but I, you know, I say, fuck it, man. It's raw and uncut, though. You yeah, know, yeah. You, know, you already know, I'm gonna cut how I operate. You know, mm -hmm. got the refrigerator full of pineapple slab. Got mm -hmm. CDs on top of the refrigerator. Got my first mixtape, Northside Gorillas, in the frame. And got uh, my last movie, Bosses Among Bosses, right behind me. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? If you can see that. Oh, yeah. I got the promo in the high. So you come to the high, you're going to see this. I'm going to make sure you see this, no matter what angle you come in. You got yeah. to see the bosses of Mon Bosses movie. One of the number one Ace Time classic, new classic, you know, along with the other OG classic. But I'm part of the classic movies now, man. I took it to River Oaks, man. We made a bunch of money. We had a bunch of fun. We had a sold out event. The Agony Life Boss Status Films, man. I enjoyed myself. And I appreciate everybody who's a part of that, man, you know. And, uh, talk you know, to shout out to Cool Films, too. Before we get out, man, uh, uh, talk a little bit about the magazine that you have and, and for those that might want to join. Uh, the Million Dollar Grind, uh, it's an entrepreneur guide, magazine, and catalog. So the catalog is my catalog because I got a long list of product and projects. Uh, yeah. the, uh, the entrepreneur side is like, you know, anybody who really been having business going on for like a good solid 10, 10 years, maybe to know where to go and where to be and where everything's jumping at for the last, you know, strong years. And on uh, the magazine side, is like, you know, interviews of different people who are in the game, you know what I'm saying? It's been something I've been working on. Let's that's, that's get this right here rolling. Uh, Mo Hustle. Uh, yeah. Your Papa Slab need a favor, and uh, we need to get the magazine out there. But what you going to do? Is you going to put it out? Not put it out, but I'm going to fund it. But I need you to piece it together. What you gonna do, son? Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm with it. Wait, what's out of town you on now? Uh, shit, I stay in spring right now. I'm in, in Channel View though. Are you stay on the north side? Where yeah, yeah, I live spring? in spring. You know, I'm, by right, my, I'm, I'm, I'm in the hood, nigga. You know, I'm right. I'm right down. Huh? Yeah, I'm not that far from you though. I'm not that far. You yeah, know, man, I don't want. I don't. Gotta, there, yeah, you come to the high, nigga. Mo Hussey used to come to the high to spend the night. And nigga, we used to make all get then they can make some good burgers too. <laughs> Remember that time you made go. made them burgers and you ate my shit? <laughs> I left and came back. I say, man, where my motherfucking burger at, man? We used to have fun though, man. Everybody used huh. to come to the Slab Soldier headquarters, man. We be in this bitch chilling, man, having fun, laughing, watching TV, coming up with different plans and how we gonna get this money, and we did it, man. But uh yeah, I want I wanna do it, man. I've been promoting it forever. I know boys know I'm gonna do it. I just ain't been in no big rush cause I'm my own boss, man. I don't really be in no rush. If you see me drop something, I dropped it. And if I ain't put out nothing because everything else rolling good and that was the focus being on mainly, but I need to do it, man. A lot of people like, how you gonna do a magazine? Niggas don't look at magazine. Nigga, I don't right. give a fuck what you say you do. I'm talking about what I do. 
Right. Magazine it is. It's just like when you put out a project to all my young cats and my OG partners, you got to go physical and digital. Digital is cool, but that with a press of a button, that shit gone. But the physical mm -hmm. is here. You know what I'm saying? Flyers, DVDs. Like I just bought like fucking almost a thousand thousand pieces that's gonna get sold. CDs and DVDs, man. Like I ain't I ain't bought it for fun. I bought it for funds. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. At the end of the day, man, digital and physical. Don't forget the physical, cause I can hand you. You can hand me your. You can tell me what you got going on. Once I hit the corner, I'm gonna talk to maybe two or three different people, and I don't forgot what you told me. But if you give yeah. me something physical, I got it right there, and I can always go back to it and say, "Oh, okay." And you know me, I always keep the money, the money on me, the uh, not real money, but the flagging money, probably yeah, yeah. around here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, promo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. See, can I grab one right quick? Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll, they don't be too far. You feel me? Yeah. They don't be too far. These bitches all around the house. They go well. South yeah, side, I, I, they go well. I, I remember we used to tape those to the ground at the mall and people would bend over and try yeah. to grab them. Grab Yeah, they still do it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's live, man. I, I I love I love that our city, man. We winning. We still winning though. We just back independent, you know. Well, I bet I stayed independent, but you know the big dogs who, who pushed through and made it, they independent, but they still millionaires, man, and still mm -hmm. making good money. And it's all on you, man. If you want to be successful, ain't nobody gonna give you no money, man. You got to go out there and get it, man, to create it and make it happen. I, I try to support any and everybody. You might have a product that I might be like, nah, I, don't, I might not want it, or I might be like, well, shit, I might throw a donation. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, I respect anybody out here, you know, on their grind, man. That's why when I, you, if you watch my my uh, social media, man, I should always salute to the underdog, to the to the, to the the independent dogs, I'll say that, to all the independent bosses that's getting it out the mud, man. You know what I'm saying? And we gotta stay. We started. We gotta stay locked in, man. We gotta keep supporting one another. And uh, you know, when I when a, I'm a slash soldier OG. When I call you and tell you it's going down, pull up. Don't play no games. Come on through. You know what I'm saying? Come rock with me. We were finna have some fun. We're finna make history together. If I ever called you and you didn't pull up, you're a damn fool. Cause nigga, I'm finna do this with you or without you. You know what I'm saying? That goes for anybody else that reach out to you. They got something going on. I ain't saying you got to run up and do what everybody else tell you to do. If they got a movement going like I got going and other people out the age got going, pull up, man. You know what I'm saying? And then post that shit. Promote it. You know, let yeah. it be known. Nigga, a, nigga, a nigga go to a, uh, I ain't going to say no name, but a nigga go to a big artist concert and be all flying shit and promoting every move the nigga make on stage. But nigga, make sure you promote a nigga like me and people that's around you and the other people who getting it out the mud, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that's just showing that you rocking with us and that's showing love. Hit the like button, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Repost, you know, shout a nigga out. If you when you when y'all go back and y'all listen to this interview from all the way back, I damn try to shout out everybody who were rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the loved ones I done lost, you know what I'm saying? And uh man, we we still at it, man. We still rocking. Egg in the life, boss status, slab, soldier OG. Got the pineapple slab. Come shop with me. Come pull up with me on the south side. You know what I'm saying? That's where my shop at. Right there in King's Best Mall, 59 degrees row off that MLK. And man, we rocking, man. You got to come pull up with me. If you ain't came and pulled up with me and then you see me dropping the project, nigga, I'm not finna be, nigga, I don't want to hear none of that shit about how long. You been knowing me and all that old shit, man. Nigga, if you ain't pulled up to my shop and supported something, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Make sure you come through, pull up with me, nigga. If you see something you don't, if you come in there and be like, oh, I don't really need none of this, nigga, buy it and give it to give it away, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's how we got to do. We got to continue to support one another. And, you know, we do, by people, we do support each other. Because that's why I, this is how I've been very successful for a long time. So make sure you come to my shop, come pull up with me, say you've seen this interview, Mo Hustle, y'all still got to come through and do the drink thing. I know you was doing, when you were doing the foods and everything, 
people still need to do that. You know, I got my own sauce too, slab sauce with the mm. slab wings. I pull them out every now and then, but I got pineapple slab at the shop every day. H Town Apparel got the USBs, got the air freshness the slab, famous air freshness. You know that everybody rock with, from the youngsters to the OGs to the ladies to the to the young ladies. Man, everybody be pulling up to that shop, man. If you ain't pulled up, pop the picture with me and showed up, pulled up and shot with me. You really tripping because you ain't you know come make history with me. A lot of y'all can't go holler at the holler at the big dogs that done made it. Them niggas are in spaceship right now, I think. Rolling, you know, they on airplanes and shit. They out of the country, all through the United States. But I'm agging the light, man. Boss status right here in the city daily. Pull up on me, come pull with me. No excuses, man, if you're in that age. Because I know when I drop this next movie, everybody and their auntie going to be calling me as if we grew up together in the same house. And I don't knock nobody. I rocks with everybody, man. I tell everybody, hey, when you going to shoot the next move? I say, look, man, I promote everything I got going on on social media. If you see me promote and pull up, if I see you, I know you, I'm going to pull you in the movie. Now, you ain't going to be Denzel in the movie, but I might hmm. have E S E Z in that. I, either way, you're in there. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, mm -hmm. just pull up, man. Y'all come pull with me after you see this. Tell me you tell me you seen this interview with Ag and the Life and Mo Hustle. And I'm going to pull you a free cup. But you got to make a purchase, baby. You know what I'm talking about? We keeping the movement going with the circle, man. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't no more questions, Mo. I'm, 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 I'm turned up. I'm hyped up, man. Hyped up. No, I got, I got one, one more last question. All right. So I know you fuck with the food real tough. I already know you. Uh, yeah. If someone comes down to H-Town, where would you take them? I mean, I'm going to be honest, man. I mean, on the independent major scale, I would got to say Turkey Leg. Uh, that's who winning, man. And that's that brother there. I don't know him personally. So, yeah. I mean, Papa Do's is, is on everybody's list. But they, but I be in the shop, and they be like, man, where that Turkey Leg at? They go fuck yeah. with Papa Do, Timmy Chan. But yeah. for me being who I am, I'm going to take them to my, to my people's spot. And I, I don't even know homie personally. You know, yeah. Lynn, I don't know Lynn personally, but I'm taking him to that turkey leg hut, and he's going to have good music. Man, everything good. The food good. The music good. You go, And you're fucking around and see your favorite rapper in there from this city, that city, and our city right here in Ace Town. Yeah, you know man. I, I actually took a, a bazaar from D12 over there. They hooked us up with a VIP in the back. Yeah. Yeah, man. You got it. You know, like I say, man, homie got... He got the whole block. He got the third ward, too, man. He got the south side. He got it on lock, man. I salute that brother, man. And uh, I say that spot, uh, man, I mean, as far as independent, I mean, of course, oh, you know, you got Burger Park. They live. Uh, the Who best uh, soul food in Houston, they live. There's a couple of other spots I just can't really just name off the top. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, back it up. Burns Barbecue, man, the niggas home, man. I, I was waiting, I was my, waiting. My old, hold up, because, you know, I, 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 man, now I know them. My OG partner, Andre, man, his pops was the OG, Mr. Burns, RIP. They out the hood, man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Burns Barbecue, too. It's, and Triple J's now on that stage. I rock with both. You know, when mm -hmm. I go to Triple J's, they show me love. Damn, they ain't got to pay for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Same thing over there. It burns. They so love. They got their own sauce, their own uh, chips and everything. So, yeah, I, I rock with burns. I, it's Like I say, it's so much, man. When you're from the city of Ace Town, it's so much going on here. I was just thinking uh, Turkey Leg Hut, but I got to salute Burns Barbecue, man, and Triple J Barbecue because they, they, both, they both so love, man. They both Got the best, you know. And uh, I got I got a homegirl too, man. She live uh 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 Trina's mobile barbecue. Uh she live. Yeah, mm. you know what she be doing business with you, I think. Yeah, she yeah, live, yeah. man. Y'all ever run into I'm talking about she the truth too. She mm. the truth, man. And she a female getting it in, man. She got some great food and she mobile with it, man. If you ever see her truck, 
Pull up on her, man. She going to bless you, man. She got her own drink, too. Uh, ghetto Punch. Yeah, she lied, mm -hmm. man. So, got to holler. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of people, man. You know, it's like, I'm trying to. Yeah. It's a lot more people, man, but I might be missing some. Hey, man, y'all know what it is, man. I rock with you. I, you know, I, I spend money with him. You know what I'm talking about? It's all good. Before we get out. Come through, man, we can put this pineapple slab on. We can stamp yeah, it on yeah. one of your shows, man. Yeah, we're going to have to come through and do a little something. Yeah, we got to. Maybe maybe we can do it when I got the wings with the slab sauce. that would be like, a lot of people have been asking me for the slab wings with the slab sauce. I just yeah. don't be put. That's just like on the event side, but pineapple slab is there every day, man. This right here, this right here, yeah. Oh, this is the shirt right here, man. I ain't even showed the shirt. This is CD right here. Well, no, this is another one. I'm tripping. This coming out the uh, slab, Soldier OG. Yeah, but yeah, man. That pineapple slab, oh. man. Playing no games, man. If you ever had one of these, you know what it is. You know what it is, but yeah, man, we gotta we gotta do a part two, man. Maybe I pull the drop out, man. You know what I'm talking about with nigga riding sure. and shit. That's how we really should have did the interview. Nigga riding, nigga mic'd up. You know, riding, chopping uh, then, it up. That's how we This is just the first of many. It's just the first of many. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's part but, one. Uh, part one. You know what I mean? You can't say it all in in, in one, but uh, but 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 yeah, man. Go ahead and uh, drop some shout outs wherever you want to shout out and uh. And then drop your social media for him one time. Man, everything egging the life on my end, man. Uh, trying to see. Uh, that's the OG Bobby Bliss. That's I think that's one. Is that's the homie? Yeah, that's the homie. Uh, trying to see if everybody's a lot of people on here. Oh, my home girl, Bob's life. <laughs> Third Ward. I'm trying to just shout at everybody I see on here. Crazy horse. Uh, that's a lot of people that done came, came through. Uh, Stead, Jay Stead, you know what I'm saying? He doing this music, man. He got to rock with the young homie. Uh, that boy, that be jamming, man. He been jamming for a long time. I remember back when he was a youngster and he was doing his music, man. He been doing it for a long time, since a teenager, man. I remember seeing him in the hood. Just trying to shout out to everybody. Big Mo, Big Tex. Official, J Bad, my slab son Justin Prater, Stoner, Slick, Winfield, Hazel, Sherm, Seven One Three ABK, Dallas Two One Four. It's a lot of people on here, man. Eddie Soul, O'Neill. Trying to make sure I say, you, gotta, you know, you got to salute the people that's rocking with us. Mm -hmm. uh, Slick, who else? 85 Ways, April White. I think that's my homegirl there, April White. Erico, Fifi, Money Maker, Platinum Money. Just trying to salute. Ramo, if I ain't said the full name, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Murder Mod 92, John John, Official Shot Glass. This shot not everybody, man. This shot not everybody. I hope I got everybody. Yeah, hope I scared scared everybody it, man. Go, man. We, we all a part of this movement, man. We all a part of this, man. We are right now, man. We're in the Slab Soldier OG headquarters, man. Behind the scenes, man. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes. In this bitch, I don't think I never did an interview at the headquarters, but y'all see what it is, nigga. You pull up, you know, to the high, nigga. You gonna see the that's my plaque, nigga. I look at that as a plaque, and this is a promotion, man. But uh, yeah, man, what you said, I need to say, uh, yeah, just uh, boys. give give out some shout outs. Well, I know you just put a lot, but any, anybody else that's not online, uh, we're gonna put this you did this video on YouTube and uh. Just just go ahead and drop the shout outs and uh let us know where they can find you at for those that don't know. Man, y'all can pull up on me daily, man, at the shop, man. Fifty nine degrees road off of MLK and that's south side, man. One of the realest sides, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh King's Best Mall, man. Slab Soldier OG, Agony Life, Boss Status Music Apparel and Drink Shop. You know what I'm saying? Uh Egg in the life, everything on me, man. It's egg in the life, Instagram, 
uh, Twitter, Agony Life, uh, Facebook. If you know my real name on Facebook, you know, you know, when you see the name Agony Life, mm -hmm. boom, boom, it's like that. Uh, Slab Life, music at gmail.com. And one of the most important things I'm finna give you, hey, man, we accept donations. We ain't tripping. You know, we getting it out the mud like drugs, man. Uh, cash out. Dollar sign. Slab Life. 713. Once again, one of the most important things I can drop on here is the cash out. Dollar sign. Slab. Life. 713. You need anything, send me your money. I ship out next day. Or you can just pull up. And uh, we got a lot of stuff going, man. New stuff I got going with the shirts, the candy red, uh, with the slab on it, with the uh, slab so the candy purple. I got the I'm a Boss T-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else I got? I got the Heart of a Hustler revamp. That's out. Man, we got man, we got Megan out the grind, queen status, king status, OG status. Got the Ace Town apparel, keychains. Man, we got so much stuff at the shop, man. It's crazy, man. So you got to come rock with me, man. You know what I'm saying? This is Egg and the Light, Boss, Status, Slab, Soul Joe G, with one of my slab sons, Mo Hustle, man. And you done had a couple of different names, but this one of the this one of the hardest names right here you done came up with. What was the name before Bo Hustle? Oh man, there's a bunch of them, man. <laughs> oh, hold on, it was one. Uh, uh, damn, you had a crazy one when I met you. Probably the Hong Kong Jew. Uh, yeah, yeah, your Hong Kong DJ, Hong Kong Jew. That nigga crazy motherfucker. Then we always call the Pee Wee. And then, yeah, yeah. yeah. Call the Manual, but yeah, Mo Hustle. That's a lot. Shout out to Mo, man. Shout out to Cosmo, mm -hmm. man. You know what I'm talking about? He part of the legacy. He part of the history. Uh, G Clean. You know what I'm talking about? Archer Lee, shit. Lester Roy Craze ass, uh, yeah. Lil Ron, 50 50 Twin, J Dog, yeah. man. The list goes on and on, man. There's so many people, man. I'm trying to name, man. Uh, shit, G Daz, B Daz. Man, it's a list, man. It's a long list. I shout out J Jones. Shout out to Mike Jones, man. He did this motherfucking thing, man. You got to give that boy his flowers while he here. Thug him. See, Lil Kiki, Zero, Trey, everybody, man, who been putting it down, you know, for the city, man. Everybody been repping hard, man. Youngster, you know what I'm saying? It's a long, it's a long list, man. Big Pup, Crazy, <coughs> Big A3, the nigga, the A3 cold on that freestyle, man. That's a bad nigga, that, man. Uh, man, the list go on and on, man. I just, it's a long list of people that I been fucking with, man. The yeah. old Greens Point, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at the, the OG Buck, you know. Man, Goodson Road family. Man, it's a lot of people, man. Try not to miss nobody, but, you know, they yeah. know what it is. It's all love on my end. I can't even name all you niggas. It's, it's a million right. of y'all. I know the whole city, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, got to come through, man. You don't got the first one I got on here. I was tired of the motherfucker. But I said, you called me. I said, I'm going to go and just do it, man. Fuck it. We kept mm -hmm. trying to do that shit. It couldn't work. You like hit the join button. I'm like, nigga, ain't no join button on this bitch. <laughs> you like, man, I can't do it while you're on the phone with me. And then you thought a nigga went to sleep. Nah, nigga, I was waiting on you. But I was taking shit out the truck. But at the same time, man, I'm, I'm turned up on this shit now. I can do this shit all day. You know, this Already, man. Later. I'm going to get you on here again, man. But for those that don't know, man, I go by Mo Hustle uh, on Instagram, at the real Mo Hustle. That's at the real spelled correctly, M-O Hustle. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, I got the fan page, Mo Hustle. That's M-O Hustle. And then uh, also um, YouTube, um, at the hot seat. Give us a subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got a lot of good footage on there. We just released over 70 videos within the last two and a half weeks. So we've been staying consistent. We're trying to use this platform to, you know, fuck with everybody all across the country uh, that we deal with personally, uh, rappers all over the place, promoters, uh, all kinds of people, man, important people, entrepreneurs, you know, just know that we're rocking with y'all and uh, we out this bitch, man. I think his shit done froze up on him. But yeah, much love to everybody tuned in.
Y'all make sure to go like the hot seat on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Give us that subscribe. Much love. Much love to everyone. H-Time, baby.